Salut, Théron here, and today I want to talk to those of you who have been playing with uh, the blues scale forever and want to understand modes. It's super easy, really. Modes can be seen as scales, a series of notes that are organized into a logical way, and I like to see modes or scales as languages, different languages, and you're going to use the, the, the proper language, the proper language depending on the country you're visiting. The countries are the backing tracks. Those are the, those are the musical beds that you're exploring. So if you're going to um, visit a Dorian backing track, a Dorian country, you will have to use the Dorian language. If you don't use the Dorian language, you're not going to be understood. Same if you were to visit the Lydian country. The Lydian, the Lydian country speaks the Lydian language. And so the more modes, the more scales you learn, the more fluent you're going to be and, and the more versatile you'll be and the more countries you'll be able to feel at home and you'll be able to speak over many different musical situations. Today I want to take a look at the minor mode language, minor modes language, because there are several minor modes. There's actually a lot of minor modes. The minor modes can be seen as a, a set of languages that are going to work over minor countries. The parallel could be maybe um, anything on the east side um, is for the minor countries, anything on the west side, major countries. I made that up, but that's just an illustration. Basically, there are two main types of languages, the major languages and the minor languages. Same in music, major chords, minor chords, major scales, minor scales, major pentatonic, minor pentatonic. What makes a scale or a chord or language minor is its third letter. The third, if the third is minor, you're dealing with a minor element, a minor country, a minor mode, a minor scale. If the third letter of your scale or, the, or your alphabet is major, you're dealing with a major item, major country, major scale, major chord. So it's the third that determines where that country is going to be. Is it on the minor side or the major side? Today we're going to take a look at the countries on the minor side. So all these scales that we're going to talk about have a minor third. And they're going to work over minor chords. There are a lot of minor languages, minor scales. A lot of them. You can actually make your own minor scale if you want to be creative by just, by just uh, taking the third note of that scale and making it a minor third. But we're going to deal with uh, three very popular ones. They're part of... Um, a set of countries um, that are called the church modes. Countries, modes, scales, part of the church modes. And these are three minor modes. If you know these three minor modes, you're going to be able to visit a lot of countries. Three, but those are very, very popular destinations. Um, the, these countries, languages, have the following names. The Dorian scale, the Dorian country. The Phrygian scale, the Phrygian country, or the Aeolian scale, the Aeolian country. So people who live in the Dorian country speak Dorian. You're going to need to use the Dorian alphabet to express yourself over a Dorian backing track. If you were to visit the Phrygian country, you would have to use the Phrygian alphabet. And same with the Aeolian. You just match the scale with the country or the backing track you're visiting. If we were to compare these three very popular minor modes, we would find some similarities. Within the alphabets of the Dorian, Phrygian, and Aeolian, we find five common letters, five common notes. These alphabets are seven letter alphabets, seven note scales, and five of them are common. They're the same ones. So that means that if you were to learn a, a condensed version of the alphabet, you just learn these five common ones and you're going to be able to express yourself over a Dorian backing track, a Phrygian backing track, and an Aeolian backing track just by using these five letters. You're probably not going to be able to, to speak um, with, um, with very um, descriptive words. Your words are going to just be made of these five basic letters and you will sound very basic, but you'll still be able to express yourself. The key of this video is to add to these five common notes two other notes that are going to be characteristic of the country you're visiting. 
Those are called characteristic notes. Let's talk about these five common notes that you find within the Dorian, Phrygian, and Aeolian. These five notes, you probably know them already. Five, penta, pentatonic, we're dealing with minor countries, minor pentatonic scale. So the minor pentatonic scale is a series of five notes that are found in the Dorian, Phrygian, and Aeolian. So if I'm playing over a Phrygian backing track, I could play a minor pentatonic scale. Now, this means that if I want to play modal, if I want to really master the Dorian language, the Phrygian language, the Aeolian language, all I need to do is to learn two additional notes. These are the characteristic notes of these three different backing tracks, countries, languages, alphabets. Let's look at the five common notes. What are the five notes that make a minor pentatonic scale? If we're in the key of A, Dorian, Phrygian, or Aeolian, we can use a minor pentatonic scale, a A minor pentatonic scale. What are the intervals that make a minor pentatonic scale? Here's our root. Then we have a minor third. Next note is a perfect fourth, followed by a perfect fifth, and then a minor seventh five notes that repeat themselves over the next octave. And then on the first string we can continue by playing the root and the minor third. The perfect fourth, the next perfect fourth is further on the fretboard, but that moves to a different position. We're only going to deal with the first position today. So that means that we have a root, a minor third, a perfect fourth, a perfect fifth, and a minor seventh. We're missing the second and the sixth. And those are the characteristic notes. The second and sixth can be minor or major, and we're going to have to learn what type of second and what type of sixth are used in the Dorian, Phrygian, and Aeolian. The Dorian is made of a major second and a major sixth. So that means that I can see my Dorian scale as a minor pentatonic scale, to which I'm adding a major second, and I have a major second here, here, and here, and a major sixth, which I have here, and here. So, how do I speak the Dorian language? Just by thinking basic alphabet, minor pentatonic scale. And adding some of these two additional letters, major second, and major sixth. So why not play your favorite minor pentatonic lick and land on one of these notes? Let's, for example, target the major second, which is found on the first string 7th fret. So I'll play a minor pentatonic and I'll land on that note. That works. Let's try the same thing, landing on the major sixth, which is found on the second string 7th fret. Minor pentatonic and I'll land on that note. Great, and I'm speaking the Dorian language just by thinking basic minor pentatonic scale to which I'm adding a major second and a major sixth. The Phrygian scale, same thing, just play minor pentatonic scale for the Phrygian and then um, add two characteristic notes of the Phrygian which are minor second and minor sixth. Here's how it sounds, I'll play a little bit of minor pentatonic and I'll land on the minor second. the same thing and I'll land on the minor sixth this time. And I'm playing Phrygian. The Aeolian is made of a minor pentatonic scale plus a major second and a minor sixth. Here, here is how that sounds. I'll focus on the minor pentatonic. I'll land on the major second. And now I'll do the same and I'll land on the minor sixth. And that's how I speak the Aeolian language. Modes don't have to be complicated, just remember that a mode is an alphabet and you're going to use that alphabet over the backing track depending on which country you're visiting. Dorian mode, Dorian backing track. Aeolian mode, Aeolian backing track, Phrygian mode, Phrygian backing track. Scales are languages, scales are alphabets, just Pick some notes from those alphabets, make words, make licks, make music, express yourself, and remember to express yourself within the country that you're 
you're visiting. You can't just speak the language without the country in the background because even though you might know which uh, language you're using, it's always better to use it in context. And for that, of course, in order to get some great uh, modal backing tracks that are designed for you to explore these countries and, and apply what you've learned or what you're learning in, on my channel, on my website, guitarplayback.com. And if you want to go further, really master the topic of playing modal, I am having um, uh, a unique master class coming in, in about a week on September the 7th, Saturday morning. It's a 90 minute live group class that you can sign up to on my website, davidwalleman.com. The link is in the description of this video. And this uh, live lesson comes with a bunch of backing tracks, some charts, some tabs, and I will go further in explaining to you how to play modal and apply these simple ideas to really enhance your playing. This is uh, the same method, the same program that I taught last July. Uh, Dweezil Zappa asked me to teach um, at his uh, summer camp and I taught this material and I've had a lot of good feedback and I think this is going to be beneficial for you too. If you cannot make it at 10.30 for the group master class, don't worry. Your ticket also gives you access to the recorded stream. This will be recorded but you can only access the recorded stream if you purchased your ticket. I hope to see you there and uh, subscribe to my channel because next Wednesday I will have a new video and this time we'll explore the major modes, major countries. Hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. Practice well. I'll see you next time and until then. Salut.